everyone. Hope everyone is well and uh, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from that uh, uh, little start, Leica has sent me a Leica film camera. More precisely, the Leica MA. Now, Leica make two variants of their new film cameras. And this is basically uh, the MP and the MA. The only difference between the MP and this MA is that the MP has a built-in light meter. So, you know, when you put in your uh, eye up, you'll be able to see the classic dot and two markers going left or right, saying that you're either under or overexposed. This is the MA, which does not have a built-in light meter at all. So I would say the only... Wow. You do have... Basically, every other film Leica that you can still buy now, preferably the one that comes to mind quickly is the M4. Um, that one didn't have a light meter, um, and you can buy second hand. But this is a brand new camera. Leica still make this camera. You can buy it brand new from them. Warranty, absolutely everything. Uh, we have on here the luxurious Summerlux 28. Don't know what it is about Leica, but I think they're trying to convince me to go to a 28. I mean... I'm using uh, my ME currently with a 21 mil, and I love it. I absolutely love the 21. So will they convert me to go to the 28? I don't know, but I do enjoy using the 28. So let's address the elephant in the room. Uh, this is a film camera, and me and film cameras on this channel haven't been tremendously successful. Uh but because it's a Leica, who knows? This video might be popular than the other videos. I don't know. Um, but I really am interested in 35mm film. And because now I own my lovely ME and I'm getting familiar with the Leica brand, I am interested to see how well this is going to stack up. Because if this is a brilliant camera and it gets results that I want... I think I might get one, personally, because, don't get me wrong, I love this. This is the Nikon F5. This is a professional grade body. Uh, I think it came out in 1996, it was. Uh, professional grade body, everything automatic, automatic advancing, automatic film winding, automatic DX code mark on it. I will be doing a, a full review on this because I think it's an absolutely amazing camera. You know, um, turn it on here. Autofocus, you know, quick autofocus. This camera for 35mm. If someone's looking for a 35mm film camera that you want complete autofocus, this is a, this is an absolutely amazing camera. It does do manual focus as well, but if you're specifically looking for autofocus, this is an amazing camera. But what I'm trying to get at is, here's the size of this. Here's the size of this. You know, the, it's a, you can't argue with it that the MA is substantially smaller in a compact body and it's less heavy as well. It, it just really is. But uh, while we're talking about weight, actually, for comparison, I would say, obviously, the ME is more heavy than the MA. A lot of M's and numbers, but... Obviously, because this is a film camera, it doesn't have any electronics built in like the ME Type 220 does. Um, what I will say, though, it's it my I don't think I'm trying to think back, but I don't think it's that um, diff, like weight much more. Sorry, less weighty than the M10R. Maybe um, I would probably say the closest that I've used is the M11. Uh, now the M11 is probably roughly the same. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, um, but from what I'm going off memory, it had the 28 on as well, and I would say it feels roughly the same. Um, this is a full brass body, so all those people who absolutely adore like a build quality, full brass body, and this one that some people will know. This actually features the old style rewrite rewind knob okay so basically instead of it being like the m6 that everyone knows the popular one where it's a circle on the side and it has a little handle when you you know you whiz it round this has the classic you lift it up like so and then you just turn 
obviously you have to be holding the film rewind uh, knob, but just turn. Old fashioned, just turning. There are people that have little things on that can rewind it quicker, but I like this. I think this is nice. You know, this is. Don't get me wrong. You can really spin it round if you want to, um, but I like it. It works. The whole prevalence of the MP MA is mechanical perfection, and I think the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Now. Getting to that, this is a film camera. So we can't just go take photos and just see, hey, great, we need actually need to pick a couple of film stocks. Leica very kindly sent over some of this. This is Portra 800. Is this the 36? Yeah, 36 exposure. Portra 800. I think, going off the top of my head, this is about a £20, $25 film currently. Uh, thank you, Leica. I really appreciate this. Um, I, <laughs> I, I was trying to be cheeky and figuring out how can I do this review without using this because this is an extremely expensive film. But I think this is an extremely expensive camera. So why not? I think I know. So I think these two, I will use these. Another cheaper or cheaper film stock I've got is the Kodak, Kodak Ultramax 400. Uh, I've used this quite a lot. I like it. And another contrasty for black and white, because I love a bit of black and white recently, uh, as you would have seen from um, like the Q2 reporter video and bits and pieces like that. Uh, I've got some Roly Retro 400S. 400 film, 36 exposure, really high contrast. So I'm really excited to see what this and the uh, MA with the 28 Simulux can produce. I'm really looking forward to that, as well as the other films. But right, I suppose we best uh, start loading up some film and uh, let's go see uh, what we can shoot, guys. sample images in this review of the Leica uh, MA. An absolutely amazing camera. Uh, just loved shooting it. Really loved shooting it. Uh, it's gone back now uh, to Leica UK. So thank you very much for uh, the loan on that one. Really appreciate it, guys. But um, it really has left a question in me that uh, I love my Nikon F5, but it's very heavy and it's a bit bulky. I want something smaller that will match my uh, Leica ME. And the MA just fits that criteria. It's mechanical, so no batteries, no light meter. It just, just works. Sunny 16 rule all day, and you just, you're just going to be fine. I absolutely loved it. Some of these images are my most favourite film images. Um, really love the one of the two cars where spring, you can just see spring coming in, the um, cenotaph or whatever you want to call it in the middle. It just oh, it just looked fantastic. Um, the images were shot 
on uh, Kodak Ultramax uh, 400 and also some Rolly and some HP uh, 500 from Ilford. Uh, HP 500, first time I ever used it, absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm probably going to use that from now on for black and white because I was really blown away of how good it was. Um, a few other black and whites that I want to try, but the, um, the Ilford uh, HP 5 was absolutely fantastic. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope uh, this end bit uh, is okay. I'm filming it on my phone because the uh, um, my D800 basically uh, uh, batteries died. So I'm filming this on the, uh, the fisheye uh, of the moment lens. Um, as I mentioned in the uh, last video, um, you know, if you want to shop right, on this moment lens or uh, anything other like uh, oriented bits, uh, there is a link down below. If you click that and purchase anything on the site, I will get a slight kickback that just helps me to basically produce these videos and uh, keep the show on the road. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Hope you're having a good, uh, good time and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.